Guitar and Excel, Spreadsheet Creation Mapping the Path to Fretboard Enlightenment, part number 14. Get ready, because it's time for our guitar skills to Excel. Here we are in Excel. If you don't have access to this workbook, that's okay, because we basically built this from a blank worksheet, but we started in a prior presentation. So if you're using a blank worksheet, you may want to begin back there. If you do have access to this workbook, there's multiple tabs on down below, including the example tab, which is the finished product, the end work, the answer key, if you will. We have many starting point tabs, which will tie into the video presentations as we go through through this long practice problem the blank tab representing the blank worksheet that we started with and are continuing on at this time quick recap of what we have done thus far we started our project by listing out the musical alphabet in a column a a sharp the sharps and flats being represented by the lower cases here b c c sharp d d sharp e F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, then it repeats. We numbered each of them, which I'm gonna call absolute numbers, not relative numbers, because they're never going to change. This is another name for the notes. A can be called one or absolute number one. And then we combine them together so we can see the number and the letter. We then created our fretboard with just the numbers, which looks nice and clean if you were able to see the notes as numbers that can look quite nice however most people are going to want to see the letters so we have this fretboard showing the letters and the numbers then we built our uh, musical uh, scales here we then started with the uh, the major scale and we did that first with C but we can change this keynote to whatever we want we built it with the formula for the major scale whole step whole step half step whole step whole step whole step half step or two note difference two note difference one note two 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 one and then we saw that in terms of our running balance formula and created the notes in the scale we then showed that over here so we can see the notes in the scale we can see the number these are relative numbers now to the position in the scale one through seven and then we have also the numbering in the greek alphabet with the uppercase showing that it's going to build a uh, a major chord the lowercase a minor chord we built it in terms of a circle as well we then went through to the right and looked at the relative uh the relative modes including the minor or aeolian the dorian the Phrygian, the uh, Lydian, the Mixolydian, and the Locrian. All of those are using the same notes. So we can, we can use this same fretboard and hide the cells such as this. And we can use that same fretboard and hide this over here and see that fretboard side by side with any of those. So I can hide from, if I wanna see the next one over and kind of switch over here, I can right click and hide and see now the Dorian next to it and use the same notes basically because they're all using the same notes. I'm just gonna be focused now around the D as opposed to the starting point was a C because these are all relative modes to the C. So then I'm gonna unhide these, right click and unhide. We also said you might want to then think about the modes and pivot around the root note. So I might wanna look at all the modes with that start with a C. So here's the C major, and then here is the C minor. It's not gonna be all the same notes, but it's pivoting around that C, and we can have all of the, a, a whole nother fretboard over here so that we can have the two fretboards up on top of each other. So we did that for all of the, all of the modes that, st that start with a C. So here's a, a Phrygian that starts with a C, the Lydian that starts with a C, and then the Mixolydian, and then the Lokian. So now we're just gonna do that, repeating the process for the rest of them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna say now we're starting at this minor, and I wanna go, I wanna look at all of the relative modes to the right that are gonna have this, uh, the same minor, in this case, uh, that are gonna be related to the C here, the C minor, not the C major this time. Let's start by copying this format and then copying it to the right. So I'm gonna do this with 
just the keyboard this time. I'm holding down shift and going to the right, back to the left a bit, still holding down shift and down, picking up all that information. And then I'm gonna say control C on the keyboard and I'm gonna paste it to each one of these items to the right. And then I'm gonna go back in and fill in the information. So I'm gonna say control V. I'm gonna do this all the way until we get back to the major. So I'm gonna say control V or all the way across here for everything that we have up top. So it lines up to each one of them up top. So I'm gonna say control V and control V and control V and so there we have it. Okay, now let's go back to the first one and let's add the names. I'm just gonna add the names to start with. Now over here, we're starting with the minor instead of starting with, with the major. So I'm just gonna, it's gonna be the same pattern going to the right. So I'm just gonna copy the names from up top. So the one after the, the minor, it happens to be populated properly right now, but let's just do it again. This is gonna be equal to, if I go up top, we had the minor and then after the minor is the Dorian, enter. And then the next one we're gonna work on is gonna be after the Dorian. It looks like it's populating properly, but let's just double check it. Dorian, and then we had after the Dorian, the Phrygian, enter. And then this one is after the Phrygian, scrolling up, we're gonna say there's the Phrygian, after the Phrygian is the Lydian, and then next one, equals after the Lydian, we have the Mixolydian, enter. And then after the Mixolydian, we've got the Lokian, Lokian, that's the crazy one, like the character Loki, it's weird. And then the last one, I'm gonna go back. This is where the major is. We go all the way around the horn, all the way around the loop and back to the start of the loop. So the last one is going to be the the major so i'm going to go all the way back to the left to pick it up okay now oftentimes it might be easiest for for us first to populate the information for the major because that's usually what we think of as home base uh even though it's on the far right when we're looking at it now so we might want to say okay first i'm going to look here maybe i'll even make this red so i can kind of recognize it when i when i'm trying to maneuver around this worksheet so in order to do that, then what I'd like to do is copy the formula over here and then I need to pick up that first note. So maybe this first note is the first thing to look at. So if I go back to the right and say, okay, how, what is that first note? Because if I was to look over here, I know in the minor, we're looking at a C minor. So the question is, well, what is the relative major uh, then to the C minor? Well, if I scroll up top, I can say, well, Last time, if I looked at the minor this way, here's the minor uh, that we had up top that was relative to the C major. So now this is the minor, here's the minor, there's the C. So that relative position should be the same down here. So if I look at what I'm doing down here, we're gonna say, here's, here's the minor that we're on, which is a C, relative position should be that D right there, D sharp. So I'm gonna pick that up. I'm gonna to try to tie everything together to this uh, D sharp. So I'm gonna go all the way back to the right and say, let's pick that number up with a formula so everything ties together. So this first note, that's the key. I wanna pick that all the way back up from the first one in our list, which is the minor. And I'm gonna pick up that seven right there, which is a D sharp. All right, we have that and then I could just I could just copy this formula here and paste that into the formula and it should pick up the relative formula but just the formula only. So there's our formula pattern for the minor that I should be able to copy down and then it should populate the pattern properly. And then I'm also going to copy this and paste uh paste it here for the formula as well uh maybe i can just paste well let's do the formula yeah there we have it and then i can copy this down and i believe that will give us the proper items here too so there's our major 
So now let's go all the way to the left and we'll double check this later. We'll kind of play with it. So if, so if there's any kinks in it, we'll try to uh, work those out as we work with the worksheet. But let's go back to the left now and say, okay. Let's say, okay, okay. Okay, so then we're gonna, we've got the minor and then after the minor is the Dorian. So to change the Dorian, I need that starting note again to change. But now it's it's easier for me to see because I can see it re related to the major. So I'm gonna tie this to the major, which is all the way to the right now, and go to the major on the right and say, th there's the major, the Dorian is one to the right. So it's gonna be that nine. So I'm gonna pick up this nine and enter. And then once I have that, I'm gonna pick up this formula which is on the Dorian and copy that and paste just the formula over here and then double click copying that down and it should have everything. This is populating, I think properly. I think I can copy this and paste it here. Oh, hold on, not that way, paste it formula. And I think that was already populating properly. So I think that is right. Let's try the, the next one which is the Phrygian. So I need to change the root note here. This is gonna be equal to, I'm gonna go to the right to the majors and the Phrygian is the one absolute. That was the Dorian, now we're on the Phrygian, which is that 11. Let's pick it up over here. We could pick it up either way, I think, but let's pick it up over here. There's the 11, so we have that. And then our formula is populating. I think the formula is populating, cor well, maybe it's not. So let's let's copy this and paste it here, paste it just the formulas, copy it down, paste it here, copy this, paste it here, just the formulas and copy it down. All right, I think that works. Let's try the next one, which is gonna be the Lydian. So the Lydian, I need to change the root note so I'm going to say equals. I'm going to go back to the majors. And we did, so last time we did this one. So we should be on this one, the 12. So I think that's right, 12. And then the formula is going to be here. I'll copy this formula and paste it here. Just the formula. I'll copy it again and paste it here just to make sure that's, well, not like that. Control Z, paste it, formula. Okay, and then I'm gonna go to the next one, Mixolydian. So the last one I had was, uh, we started at the 12. So let's just keep that in mind to make sure I pick up the right note. Equals, and we'll go to the right and say, okay, we had the 12 last time. So now we're on the two. So there's the two right there. Let's do right there, okay. And then I'm gonna copy this here, paste it to the formulas just like that. And then copy it again and paste it down here just to make sure that's proper. And then we started at the two this time. Now we're on the Lokian. So we'll put our cursor here, equals, scroll into the right. And last time we were on the two, we're not picking up the six because that's the minor. We already did that. We'll skip that and go to this one. We're not picking up this four, which is the six of the relative position. We'll pick up that six, which is a D, which is the seven relative position. All right, so there's that. And then, then we're gonna say, okay, let's copy this, control C, paste it formulas, copy that down and then copy this and paste it like that. Oh, not like that. Uh, Control Z, paste it like that and copy it down. And so there we have it. So there we have it. Easy, let's try it again. So on the next one, we're gonna say we had the minor. If I go down this way, I had the minor. And then after the minor, we've got the Dorian. So let's do the same thing. I'm gonna copy all of this and paste it across. So I'm gonna copy all of this and then I'm gonna paste it across. Control V 
and then paste it here control V and then paste it here control V and then paste it here control V and then paste it here control V and then paste it here control V and that's the end of it and then I'll go back and name them so I'm going to go back to the start where we started with the Dorian so after the Dorian I think everything is right until we go around the horn so I think the Phrygian is actually correct and then the uh, Lydian is correct and then the Mixolydian is correct I believe I hope Lokian is correct and then we go around the horn so that's when this is going to be zero and this should be the major so this equals up to the top back to the left this is going to be the major so uh, major duh, 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 this one boom let's make it red to try to say tell ourselves that's home base for this one and then we go to the right and then the one after the major would normally be uh, the minor yeah I think it well because we put it out of order so it's going to be the minor so let's pick that one up so we have the major and then the minor is next in our ordering and I think that's it all right let's go back to the left then and start to populate this thing so we'll say okay so now we started on the Dorian so now I got to think okay well what is what is the relative like it might be we know that the Dorian here is going to be the C I might want to look at the relative major and think about that first so the question then is what's the relative major of wait I already did the C yeah it was the C Dorian what's the relative major of the C Dorian well I can go up top and look at my Dorian up here I could say here's my Dorian related to the C major so there's so 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 where's my C relative to this the C is way over here it's the seven so now the same relative positions should be over here so I'm going to say all right that means that if I go down to this one I'm on the minor and then here's the Dorian then if this was a C Dorian then this should be the major so I'm going to build the major first which is going to be uh, a, a an A sharp or B flat a two note so I'm going to say all right two note let's go to the majors and build that one primero first we're going to say this one here the first note's going to be a two so I'm going to say this equals back to the to the Dorian so we can kind of build this together uh, build everything tying it together and we want to pick up then this two so we want that two and enter that's the starting note then I'm going to pick up my formula and I can do that by just copying this and paste it right there but the formulas only copy it down whole whole half whole 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 half that looks good copy it again and paste the formulas there well not like that paste the formula and then copy that down so now we've got the major so now I can work on on all of the related modes using the major as my home base so I'm gonna say all right then we have the Dorian so after the Dorian we've got the Phrygian so what's going to be the first note okay I can say what's the relative position for the Phrygian to the major the Phrygian actually maybe it would be easier to go in order so what I'll do is I'll kind of try to go in order this way let's go to the right and I say here's the major I know that the minor is the six right so I can say let's do the minor first so I'm going to say here's the major the minor is going to be the six of it so this is going to be equal to on the minor side uh, it's going to be equal to the six of the major so that will be the 11 which is a G so we have that and then I can copy the minor pattern copying this paste it formulas paste that down 
copy this, paste it on the formulas, and copy it down. And then I know that the Dorian, if I look at that compared to my major, is going to be here. So that would be the, uh, the C related to this. And then, I'm, <laughs> and then the next one's going to be a D. Okay, so let's do that. So now I'm going to go back on over here and say, okay, this is going to be the Dorian and then the Phrygian. So that's the one after the Dorian. So this is going to be equal to moving to the major. And so here we had the major. So the one after the Dorian is Phrygian. So that's going to be here relative to the major, which is that six. Boom. And then I think this formula is actually populating properly. So I think we're good on everything here. So let's just hope we are <laughs> and continue. So the one after the Phrygian, which was that six, is the Lydian. So this first note, I think that's all we need to change on the Lydian. So I'm going to say that according to this one would be the one after that six would be that seven right there. Or we can pick it up right here. Okay, and I think everything else changes properly. Let's do it to this one. This is the Mixolydian. So this is the one after, what did I just put in there? A seven. So the Mixolydian changing this note compared to the major scale. So here's the major and we just did the seven. So this is going to be the nine. Boom. And everything else populates. And then the next one is the Lokian, which is the weird one. So this is going to be equal to going to the right. This would be the one we're skipping this one because that's the minor, which we already did. And so we're going to this, uh, this one. So that's going to be this here. And okay, that makes sense. I think everything else is populating properly. All right, let's see if we can continue on again and try this again. Hopefully we have everything. We'll work out the kinks later, but you get kind of the thought process here. And uh, let's see. So now we had Dorian. So now after Dorian, we've got Phrygian. So I'll do the same thing. I'll just copy this whole thing and say Phrygian. Just copy that. I'm going to paste it here and then go to the right paste it here, go to the right, 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 paste it here. And that's the last one. All right. So if I look at my Phrygian, then, then I'm, I'm going to try to list these out again. So I'm, I'm starting at the Phrygian. So we'll start at the Phrygian. Du, 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 here and then after Phrygian we've got Lydian I think that's populating properly and then we've got Mixolydian and then we've got Lokian I think that's right and then it starts over which is where we run into the problem so now I'm going to say this is going to be equal to after Lokian it starts over at the major so this will be our major now so i'm going to say this equals to the top row that we worked on which is the major i'll make it red to indicate that's our home base and then this is after the major is the minor so this equals and i should be able to just copy now that i think about it the relative position from the major to the minor here and just paste it boom and then after that is the dorian i should be able to paste it here dorian and then that's it so now i want to think about what's going to be the relative major here of the starting point so i can change that note first and use this as my home base so i'm going to go to the first one and say all right how am i going to do that this one i'm on phrygian 
So what's the relative major if I think about that as the one note in the key of Phrygian? Well, I can do it up top. I can say, well, when I was in the key of C, if I looked at Phrygian over here, Dorian, Phrygian, and I know the one that the major was a C, now the major is right here. So now I'm going to say, okay, the same relative sh position should hold. So I'm going to go, okay, that means that if I'm looking at what I've got here on the Phrygian, then there's the Lydian, I'm on Phrygian, then it should be, here it is, I got lost there, here it is, it should be this one. So if I'm on Phrygian, there's the C, so it should be a, a G sharp or an A flat. So it's a 12, note 12. So I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna go to my home base C and say there's C and this first note is gonna be the 12. So I'm gonna say, let's bring this up from the 12, tying everything together over here. There's my 12. Maybe I should pick it up from up top like this. There's the 12. I'm gonna copy the formula now. So the formula I should be able to copy by copying this, control C and pasting it here, control formula only, copy it down, copy that again, paste it here, formula only, copying it down. To the right of that is the minor, which is the six of the major. So this note right here should be the six of the major, which is, which is gonna be like that nine, or I can pick it up over here uh, which is that nine right there. And then I can pick up the minor pattern, copying this and paste it down formulas here, copy it down, copy it from here, paste it down formulas here. And then after the minor, we get to the Dorian. So the Dorian is gonna be equal to, going back to the home base of the major, it's gonna be equal to Here's the major, the Dorian is the one right to the to the right. So it's gonna be that number two, so this number two right there. And so that's our starting point. I'm gonna copy then this and paste just the formula and copy that down. So there we have that. And then I'll copy this and paste just the formula here and copy that down. All right, and then there's nothing to the right of that. So I'm gonna go all the way to the left again and start from this side. And so we had the Phrygian, that's the starting point, right? And then after Phrygian, we had Lydian. So I think everything is populating properly on the Lydian as long as we change this starting note. So the Lydian, uh, where's the Lydian? Where's the Lydian? I just did the Dorian. So this one is actually after the Dorian. So if I go back on over here, we're gonna say, going back to my major, here's, we just did the Dorian. So this is the Lydian, which I believe is that four, I hope, which is a four. And then everything else I think populates properly. And then after the Lydian, which was the four, the next position, Mixolydian, I just need to change this one note, tying it into the major. So we had the Phrygian was here. So now we have this five. So this should be this one. And so that's the five for the Mixolydian. And then I'm gonna go to the right and then we got the Lokian. So I need to change that one. That's the one at the end. So that's the last one. So meaning, meaning we're not gonna put the six in there. Uh, we're gonna go to the Lokian, which is the 11. I think I messed up here. So there's the 11. Okay, something happened though. So this is the major, this is the minor. And then we had the Dorian, right? And then we had, we had the Dorian. And then the next one was a four. 
which was the Phrygian is the four. Okay, I messed up. And then this one should be the one after the four is the Lydian. So this is going to be after the four. Let's go back on over. The one after the four. This should be the five. Let's do it this way. And this one should be after the five for the Mixolydian. The one after the five. And that's going to be the seven. And then you get the minor and then the 11. All right, hopefully I fixed that. All right, so we'll, t we'll play with it later, but that's the general process. We'll continue on with it, hopefully wrapping it up next time just for the, for the rest of these. But the idea now is, of course, now you can, you can, I can move multiple different ways, right? I can say, okay, here's my, here's my major tied to the major hide these cells and I can see this compared to this I can move to the right and see any of these next to my fretboard and I can move down now and see see the minor that with the, with the same C and then see all the ones to the right which are relative to that note which will all have the same fretboard or the same notes in the fretboard so that's the idea so let's unhide this one again right click and unhide and we'll continue playing with this our modes next time.